The message you're about to listen to is a message from Apostle Eric Nyamiche, the chairman of the Church of Pentecost. Apostle Eric Nyamiche preaches the gospel in its simplest form to help the believers walk in Christ and also how the believer relate with his world. This year, the message is on unleashing the church to possess nation. Join us and let's learn from Apostle Eric Nyamiche and be a blessing to the world. If you are new to this page, make sure that you subscribe to the channel and turn on that notification bell so that when new videos are uploaded, you can have access to it. Make sure you go to our own page and check out for more videos. Thank you. There is also a light in your soul. Now, so can you be put it side by side? Read now. King kind and make nina. the necessary correction on the inner man. So bit matinitini. No me nina ewo emu ni penimu. Read not to go and preach to other people. Thank you. Can you say woko kan ya misem achira fu fronko? But read the scriptures side by side. Your heart. Demu mu o king kind chira no. Bo madi say wakuma ebe di echele. Second Corinthians one verse twelve. Yeshua Corinthians four mama edi kind eti akuna yimu dumi. Are we together? Now this is our boast. Our conscience testified that we have conducted ourselves in the world and especially in our relation with you with integrity and godly sincerity. We have done so relying not on worldly wisdom but on God's grace. Now, now this is our boast. Our conscience testifies that we have conducted ourselves well in the world. Now, we have done so with integrity and godly sincerity. We have we have done so by the grace of God. Great man. I want you to bow down your head and submit your spirit in before God. That we can also say that this is our boast. We have walked in integrity and godly sincerity. That our conscience testified that we have conducted ourselves well in the world. What is in your spirit, man? What are you hiding? You are going before the altar. Oh, what? Is it true that what they have against you, you have really committed an evil? So, let's pray that God will help us to walk with good and clear conscience before God and man. If he helped Paul by his grace, he can help you by his grace if you if you desire it. But to me did not do a boas mafu polo. See your pair. Obey to me did not do a boyenso. Cabo San Dirisu and Tibakayanda. Emo Liberia Sakatanda. Help us, O Lord, by the power of your spirit. We want to be good Christians. Good Christians on the inside. The my Lord, our conscience will not condemn us, O God. Help us and strengthen us. In Jesus' name. Amen. Amen. So we want to continue. However, see, sometimes your conscience might be clear, but it may not mean that you are not guilty. Because conscience is subjective. There's a light in your soul, but it depends on the brightness of the light. There are certain things you may not even see. Conscience depends largely on the individual's exposure. 
ahunim ejina nipa no enoma hodo a wetime hunu anase senia osi wosu ehunu bi efa now as in knowledge all information available to him or her na we ni pempre no ejina senia nipa no wesu ebribi akwakodo anase asemwa wetumi ate so sometimes you may not feel that your conscience is condemning you but it does not mean that you are not at fault there are certain people okay let me just go slowly todebia first corinthians chapter 4 verse 3 yeah hwe corinto 4 homa edikan 89 nyimu adunu miensa first no verse 3 nyimu miensa i care very little if you judge if i'm judged by you I care very little. The people are disturbing him. <laughs> he said, I care very little. They are saying, look at his nose, look at his... Uh, Sometimes people worry me, say, these people are insulting you on, the, on uh, social media. What should I do? Let them continue. I'm not the only person that people will insult. If you don't want people to insult you, don't be a leader. I guess put your light under a bushel. And sometimes, so, so I want to WhatsApp it for you. You WhatsApp the insult for me. <laughs> for, for what? <laughs> there was this lady that we had to excommunicate. Anytime that he fashioned something evil about me, she would send me a copy. And that is how wicked people can be. And these people, I'm not the only person they are insulting. And then I can say, oh, I don't mind. But the fact that you don't mind, Paul is saying that I don't mind. By my human let me just take it. I care very little if I'm judged by you or by any human court. Indeed, I do not even judge myself. So, my Paul, I said, I'm going to say, 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 I'm going to the insult is having effect on him. <laughs> it's paining him. Yeah, the church in Corinth was a harmful for him. Yeah. Harmful for him. He visited once and he started the church. He visited the second time. It was serious. So the third visit, he says, I don't know whether I should come or not. And if I come, <laughs> yeah, but that is human being. Eventually, he will get good people out of them now verse 4 the big one my conscience is clear but he puts comma but that does not make me innocent it is the lord who judges so sometimes your conscience is clear. But it doesn't mean you are innocent. Because we have said that conscience is subjective. It depends on the information that you have. Sometimes when you have the whole information, you say that, oh, I made a mistake. I made a mistake. I made a mistake. I made a mistake. 